Welcome to Max VA Disability. I'm Black Hawk Brian. Today we're going to be talking about increases. The two simple questions everybody has is when and how. So the first thing you want to do when you're thinking of filing for a VA disability increase is ask the question when. And then you ask the question how. Well, when is the time right? And I kept thinking to myself, has my condition worsened? Well, how do I know if it's worse? Was I making more frequent visits to the doctor? That's a pretty obvious one there. Lifestyle changes. I can't play catch with my grandson anymore. And those lifestyle changes, your family and your friends notice a difference. The second question you want to ask is, does your condition have a higher rating? Well, follow me. I went on the 38 CFR part four, and I picked a body part, the ankle. Ankle, ankylosis of, diagnostic code 5270, you see it only goes up to 40. Well, if you're one of those individuals that has a rating of 40, well, why would you file for an increase on that, thinking you're going to get 50 or 60%? Guess what? You can't go any higher. Unless it's a condition that would carry a secondary condition, then basically you're done, and it's a waste of your time and a waste of the VA's time to file for a claim on this one. Oh, here's another one, the foot, plantar fasciitis. If you've got 30% for plantar fasciitis, nothing else, guess what? You're maxed out on that particular condition. Don't file for an increase. You're not going to get one. There isn't one. Now, here's some body parts that do carry higher conditions, but you got to read those higher conditions and what they entail before you start to file an increase. But let's say that you're at 30%. And you're looking to get that 40 or 50 percent. Well, read the description on what it takes to get there. But if you do feel that you meet these and you have the proof for it and that you feel that you can go into a CMP, take the exam and have a, a pretty good chance, like a 99 percent chance that the examiner is going to sit there and go, OK, I'm going to rate you at this particular level, then go ahead and make it. The only thing they can do is say no or you stay the same. But what I will warn you of and look at me. If you go in there thinking you're just going to go take another CMP and get 40%, you better be very careful because they can always back that number down. The caveat to all of these, if there's not a higher number or you don't think you can make that next rating, if there is a higher number, if you've got a secondary condition and it's in your records and you've either got a nexus letter for it and you can prove it, then please file a claim. Thirdly, do you have proof? Well, what type of proof are you talking about, Blackhawk Brian? Well, I'm talking about VA and or civilian medical records. I'm also talking about Nexus and or buddy letters. How to file. The easy part, I guess, follow me. All right, so here we are on VA.gov. But if you're looking to file an increase and you've never done it before, it's not that big of a deal, people. You just got to know how and where to do it. But if you look at VA.gov on the homepage, right down here in the disability, file for a disability increase. Click on that. And what you're going to see is this page pops up. It's for filing a disability compensation claim for anything, whether it's the initial supplemental increase 21-526EZ. If you read down the page, it tells you how to start the application. It basically kind of gives you an overview of everything that I just told you. It's reaffirming what I just told you. And don't forget, there's three ways you can file. You can file in person, by mail, or online. I would highly suggest if you're filing an increase, if you can get to a regional office or to your VSO, go in the office, take your paperwork, get it date time stamped, and make sure that you keep copies of everything. When you get to that point under the win part, if you feel that you are going to file an increase, do me a favor. You file a letter of intent. Let me show you how to do that. On the VA.gov website, you're on the home page. If you scroll down to this block right here where it says Get Answers, Resources, and Support, you click on that. It comes over here down the page. It's going to say your intent to file a VA claim. As you scroll down, I'm going to make this real simple. How to notify VA of my intent to file. You see that number right there? You call it. You'll get somebody on the phone when you Talk to them when you get a real person say, I need to file a letter of intent because I'm going to file for an increase. It took me roughly nine minutes for the whole process. I cannot tell you how important that is. Anytime you want to file a claim, letter of intent, boom, punch that clock, people. My website's in the description below. It's got a link. Here it is, maxvadisability.com. Until then, until the next video, Black Hawk Brian, out.